Here we're going to find the exact value of a trigonometric expression. We want to find the exact value of cosine of sine inverse of two-thirds plus tangent inverse of three-halves. We're going to start off by defining two angles. We'll let alpha equal sine inverse of two-thirds. If we sine inverse of two-thirds, that means that the sine of alpha is equal to two-thirds, and alpha needs to be in quadrant one. We'll let beta equal tangent inverse of three-halves, which means that the tangent of beta is equal to three-halves. Again, beta needs to be in quadrant one. Since we know that the sine in the circle will be y over r, we consider it a circle of the form x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Here you have the sine of alpha is equal to two-thirds. So we have y is two and r is three. We put those into our equation, we'll get that x squared plus two squared equals three squared. So give us that x squared is equal to five. We know that we're in quadrant one, so x needs to be positive. So we'll get that x is equal to the square root of five. I'd like to find the cosine of alpha, so we'll need that later. The cosine of alpha is equal to x over r. In this case, we have that x is the square root of five, and the radius r is three. So cosine of alpha is equal to the square root of five over three. We're gonna work on this beta now. We know that the tangent of beta, tangent is equal to y over x. In this case, we have three halves. Again, consider a circle of the form x squared plus y squared equals r squared. In this particular case, we know y is three and x is two. So we'll have two squared plus three squared equals r squared. So we'll solve this for r and get that r is equal to the square root of 13. So we found the tangent of beta. We also need to find the sine of beta and the cosine of beta so that we can finish our problem. Here we've rewritten the expression that we'd like to evaluate. We've also got the sine of alpha is equal to two thirds, cosine of, alpha, cosine of alpha is equal to the square root of five over three, and tangent of beta is equal to three halves. We'd like to find the sine of beta. The sine of beta is going to equal y over r, and we're using the angle beta here. y was equal to three, and we found on the previous page that r was the square root of 13. So we'll have the sine of beta is equal to three times the square root of 13 divided by 13. We'll also need the cosine of beta. Cosine of beta is equal to x over r. x is two, and we had r was the square root of 13. So cosine of beta is equal to two times the square root of 13 divided by 13. And remember that we defined the sine inverse of two thirds to be alpha, tangent inverse of three halves was beta. So what we're really looking for is the cosine of alpha plus beta. We're going to use the sum rule for cosine to rewrite this as cosine alpha, cosine beta, minus sine alpha, sine beta. And then we're gonna plug in our known quantities. You know, the cosine alpha is the square root of five divided by three. Cosine of beta is two times the square root of 13 over 13. Sine of alpha was two thirds. And the sine of beta is three times the square root of 13 over 13. If we clean this up and simplify, we'll get two times the square root of 13 times the square root of five minus three, all divided by 39. So the cosine of sine inverse of two thirds plus tangent inverse of three halves is equal to two times the square root of 13 times the square root of five minus three, all divided by 39.